It is a symbol of power as well as beauty also. For me it's the it's king of the cats. Likewise a tiger, I mean it's the, it's the icing on the cake. Where there are tigers, there are tourists. The bad part is the intense pressure which uh, tigers in some of the reserves have come under because of their easy sightings and so too many vehicles, too many people and unregulated kind of tourism. Tourism is a huge powerful force that allows anyone on the street to connect to wildlife, particularly animals like tigers and elephants. What's happened now with tourism is that there are rules in place, but in terms of regulating how tourists behave, what they wear, how, how they take their pictures, um, I've seen huge variations depending basically on the guide and the naturalist that's sitting with them. So you have a very good guide and naturalist, the tourists are very well behaved. So it's not specific to a particular park, it's very much individual based. So that's a huge challenge that we have. So the Supreme Court actually has mandated now that not more than 20% of any tiger reserve should be um, used for tourism. The viewing distance um, being a minimum of 30 uh, meters to maintain the distance and not more than one vehicle, not more than 15 minutes at a sighting. The parks are very small in India. The average size is about three, four hundred square kilometers. It's not Yellowstone, it's not the Everglades, where millions of people can go in. So certainly a fair system that sets limits on how many people can go in every day and is regulated will go a long way in ensuring that people get to see wild tigers but not to the point where the animals in the park are harassed. In some parks in India we found that it generates three to five million dollars a year which can go towards both uh, conservation and protecting the wildlife. There's this sense that when people go into a, a park that uh, their trip is a success if they see a tiger and I don't, I don't think that's how tourism needs to be pitched. I think most urban Indians are very disconnected from nature so even going, either walking into a forest or sitting on a jeep and riding through brings back a connection to nature that most people have lost after their childhood. This animal has this fantastic magnetism and personality to draw in people in droves literally to uh, come to national parks and tiger reserves and then that um, visitation to national parks builds the public opinion for conservation. So tiger is literally the ambassador for conservation of the entire Indian wildlife. <laughs>